Hello, and welcome to Monday Muscle. You guys, I am so freaking excited to get Monday Muscle up and going. And if you normally listen to my podcast, you normally will hear a little intro about me, who I am, what I do, who I help. And uh, also that this podcast is not medical advice. It still isn't today. However, I continuously have been putting off Monday Muscle, even though it's something that I really am passionate about and want to do so badly because it's not perfect. And I don't have this or that ready yet. And I'm just not really sure what I was going to talk about. And I go through all these things and I need to let you guys see that you're not the only people in the world who think that you can't do things unless everything is perfect. The timing is right. The this is right. You're not too busy. It's not this season or that season, or you have a lot going on at work. And so it just doesn't make sense right now. And I am no different. I am a perfectionist. I like things to be exactly how they are supposed to be before the world gets to see them. Um, that's why I legitimately had the consistency compound going. I mean, literally, I had the whole thing like there for eight months before I was like, hey, let's launch this thing that I have <laughs> that will help women. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. And so I'm coming here to show you guys that I'm no different than you. I will say, oh, it's not the right time. I don't have this thing. I don't have my little intro music yet. I don't have my introduction for Monday Muscle. Um, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have the right topic. I can't think about what I want to talk about, even though I have all these ideas. Like I could go on and on and on about why I was going to continuously postpone this. Also, this, you notice, is coming out later in Monday, but you want to know what? It's fucking Monday still. So welcome to Monday Muscle. I'm so excited. So excited. And to even boot with this, part of the reason why I am a little bit quote unquote late, if you will, getting this out into the world is because I spent Saturday really hovering and trying to like hone in on what I was going to talk about. And I made this like, I wanted to talk about like my transitioning into the world of training and kind of what this episode on Monday is going to be, it's going to be all about training, specifically muscle building, training, going into the gym, all these things like that have to do with muscles and training and what it all looks like, how you put it all together, what you're supposed to be doing, not doing this, doing that, doing. And I feel like a lot of times it's because I was putting out episodes where it's all around mindset and I love mindset work. It is so crucial. And in fact, probably the most important thing that you're ever going to have to do on the journey. The weight is always a side effect. I always talk about this. The mind is what has to fix, get fixed. Okay. So like I've just been waiting. And so I had this whole, like, I started like going back and reading Facebook posts and stuff of all these things I was going to talk about. And it's just like, okay, stop. <laughs> like this is, this is a little more work than I thought it was going to be. And so now I've been, I've spent all this time when I could have just recorded something about something that I'm still interested in conversating with you guys about for Monday Muscle. I chose to like make some bigger elaborate thing and it took me way longer than I thought it was and blah, blah, blah. Here we are. So I decided that the intro was going to be some myths, that some myths that we're going to talk about that we see in the gym all the time or I shouldn't say even that we see in the gym, it's just myths that are about the gym in general. And these are three things all the time that I see online when I talk to people online, when I'm working with people, and then also in person having face-to-face -face conversation with people. These are three things that I want to go through. It's not going to be a super long episode. It's not going to be super in-depth. And at some point in time, I will address all these things at a much bigger scale or grander to do, if you will. But I wanted to come in and talk about why this is so important and why training is such a crucial part to this process. You know, everybody's just like, give me the fat loss shot. Give me the this shot. Give me the that. Give me the gummy. Give me the that. Give me the this. I wanted results yesterday. I wanted them now. I'm blah, blah, blah. It's like, whoa, chill. Like, that's just not how this process works, y'all. I thought the same shit. I was the same way. And so I want to talk about some myths or some things that people have assumptions about, about going to the gym specifically, because I think that 
we need to start talking about these. We need to start breaking this kind of mentality that we have around these things about the gym and training, especially women, especially women. Okay. So let's talk about the very first one. And it's the very first thing that you hear women say when you're like, oh yeah, I strength train and, or I've tried strength training or I've never strength trained because I don't want to look bulky. I don't want to look like a man. And this is probably, I don't know, the number one, the number one thing that I hear like, well, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to look like a man. Okay. So I know there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, and I'm not going to get super political, but this definitely has to be addressed. Y'all men and women are not the same. We are not the same. We don't have the same hormones. We don't have the same amount of hormones. And because we are not the same, we will not look like men unless we try to look like them, we would have to take serious amounts of testosterone supplementation in order to look like a man. And even then, a lot of the women that I see that look like quote unquote men or that are super duper bulky, right? Um, They still look like women. I mean, yeah, they're big and they have lots of muscles, most of them are pretty lean, but they're still women. <laughs> okay. And so we, we make these assumptions that like the moment we pick up a weight, like a bicep is just going to pop out of our arm, like boom, boom, there it is. The bicep, there it is. Yeah. Like that's literally not how this works. And in fact, I think it's to a, to a point where I don't think people realize how long muscle actually takes to put on the body. Um, a lot longer than fat that I can tell you a hundred percent without a doubt. It takes so much longer to put muscle on your body than it does fat. Fat, easy, easy peasy. The majority of us, me, myself included, we understand how easy this is, right? We've all been there. Most of us at least uh, have all been there where it's okay. It's like how many times I've said this before, but how many times have you like, my God, like I eat one cupcake. It goes straight to my ass cheek. Like I always say like, oh my gosh, like I look at pancakes and they go to my ass cheek. I don't even have to fucking consume that shit. Right? Like how many times do we say that? However, it's not the same with with the gym. You don't put a barbell in your hand or a dumbbell in your hand or a machine cable, whatever in your hand. And then all of a sudden, like you're popping out ass cheeks and biceps and this steps and that steps and everything's popping and you got big quads and all sorts of shit. That isn't that that doesn't work like this for women. We have testosterone in our body, but we have a significantly amount less. I don't know if that's a real word, but I'm saying it a significantly less amount. I don't know, whatever than men, we just do. And guess what you need in order to really build muscle. You need testosterone. It's the like the number one building muscle hormone. That's what we have to have, okay? The other things that are required to build muscle, one, protein. Two, you must be in a calorie surplus. So all you ladies out here that are eating 1,000 calories or 1,200 calories, thinking that you're gonna go to the gym and get big and bulky like a man, no, because you're not eating enough food. Now, I've already done one episode on this and I'm going to go to go way into more depth and detail about like taking off fat while putting on muscle. And that's why the scale doesn't change and muscle weighs more than fat and all this other bullshit that's out here instead of just people picking a goal. Okay. But it takes all those things to put muscle on. So those of you who think you're going to just go pop some fucking dumbbells in your hands and your biceps are going to be so bulgy that you don't not, you're going to look like a man. You're not going to know what to do. You're not going to recognize yourself. That is not the case. That is not the case. I've been, um, technically strength training. I just hit like my five ish year mark. Uh, five, I'm going into my six year, like five to six years here. And I don't look like a man. I, I don't look like a man. So, you know, it's very difficult. And I eat a lot of protein, by the way. And I've been in a calorie surplus. I've had all those things to put on muscle. And I still don't look like a man. And so this is just something that we have to get the fuck out of our head. 
Stop listening to mainstream social media people bullshit. Also, stop going into groups and getting suggestions and thoughts and opinions from people who have no fucking idea what they're talking about. It's absolutely asinine, okay? So that is gym myth number one. You will not look bookie like a man unless that's fucking the goal for you. Again, the amount of supplementation for steroids, essentially, you would have to fucking take a whole fuck ton. So chill, take a breath. If you put a dumbbell in your hand, you're not popping muscles yet. Just calm down, okay? I wish it was that fucking quick. Y'all, y'all, trust me, y'all wish it was that quick, okay? Okay, so myth number two. I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. You are not being judged by the majority of the people that are in the gym, okay? I can't speak to the dicks and the douche canoes and the assholes that are all out there that want to be douche canoes, dicks, and assholes. I, I can't speak to those people, okay? I can speak to the mainstream of people that I know and talk to in the gym, where if you come across a person who is literally judging you for trying to change your life, that's a problem. Now, the caveat to this for me personally is me watching specifically women go in on the cardio machines. And you're like, Sarah, you're judgy when you talk about that. You're right. You want to know why? It's because I've already fucking done all that. I already did all that shit that they're doing And I just want to go over there and shake them and just say, come with me. Just come with me. It's not out of a place of like, oh my God, I can't believe Rhonda is on the cardio machines again. Oh my God. That's not the judgment. It's the judgment of like, it's not even judgment. It's just like the want to take them by the hand and say, girl, come with me. Let's go. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you some shit. And then it's going to change your life. That's, that's where it's coming from. But on a whole, like even, even, even those people, let's, let's just, even the people that at least go and move their body, y- y'all, they're doing more than the majority of the people out there. They, they are. They're doing the majority of what most people are even doing. So even if they are getting on a cardio machine, who fucking cares, right? They're fucking at least moving their body. Like that's important, Okay. But I feel like there's a lot of judgment. And y'all think this is from the men. No, ladies, it's women to women. I'm telling you that right the fuck now. I'm telling you right the fuck now. Men in general, in my experience, to be honest, men love when women come and train. They, They love it. Why do they love it? Not so they can look at your fucking body. They're going to look anyways. It doesn't fucking matter. That's a whole different fucking conversation. But men love it because it's like, man, that girl knows what the fuck's up. That girl knows what the fuck is up. She is on it. She knows that that cardio machine isn't going to get it. She already knows that. She's here. She's training. I can't tell you how many compliments I get all the time. Like, man, it's so nice to see women on this side of the fucking gym. Man, it's nice to see women who are like lifting heavy weights. How many, how many times have I gotten by some rando dude asked to spot him? Dude, there's three other guys over there to spot you. you come and ask the girl. Y'all, that isn't like hitting on somebody. That is respect. He has paid attention and is like, okay, so I already know, like, if this fucking barbell is on my chest, I can, she can help me get this shit up. Like, she can be able to help me get this shit off my body. I'm not going to die if she helps me. Cool. Like that's mad respect. That's not judging or like hitting on or whatever the case is, okay? And a lot of times as women, we automatically assume that that's where the men are at. That's where their head is. That's where they're going. That's where they are. That's not the case the majority of the time. And now I'm also gonna say like, again, yes, you're always gonna have some douche canoe dick asshole who tries to be weird and shit, okay? It's true. They exist. They are there. But the majority of the people, women and men, who are in the gym truly want to see you succeed. They're not there to be like, oh, God, Tubby really needs to get in the gym. Oh, my God. They're like two years too late. Like, who is saying that for people who are truly trying to change their life? 
legitimately. I can't think of any, I've never even heard it, never saw it, nothing. So, and I've been in the gym like every day for the last six years. So like people are not judging you like you think they are. They're just not. And it's, it's, it's because we have, again, these social media people that come on and, and tell you that this happened, or you read the one post from the girl who got hit on or who got told like, she's looking like a man, right? Or who got told like, oh my gosh, like, why did it take you so long to get in the gym? Like these posts that people are doing are very few and far between for the amount of people that are going into the gym. Like, and the, and the good people that are actually there. And the other thing that I will say is that you typically, instead of judging or getting judged, you actually start having camaraderie with people. You start creating friendships. Like I always talk about my gym bros and like, they're, they're like some of my best, like, I don't want to call them guy friends, but kind of like they give a shit about what goes on in my life. They give a shit about my husband's jobs, you know, situation. They give a shit about, hey, you know, when he's gone, if you need anything, let us know. Like, we can come over and help, this, that. Like, and that's not in like a weird, like, hey, your husband's in Iraq, <laughs> winky, winky, <laughs> right? That's not what that is. It's like legitimately like, hey, if I can help in any way, let me know. Like, that's true care. It's true care, friendship, okay? And so we think that we're going to like be judged or or whatnot from people. And really, it, it's really kind of like a family once you start to get there and, and go. Okay. So that's myth number two. So we got bulky like a man, people being judged. Here's the third one. And this one is the most one you want to talk about judgy. This makes me judgy a little bit because I just, again, not in a like, oh my God, but like, oh my God, I going to shake you silly because you need to listen. <laughs> right. Here's the last one. You will never out train a bad diet. Sorry, the amount of calories that your watch tells you that you burn, that the Orange Theory Fitness fucking screen tells you that you burn, that your whatever thing tells you that you burn, it's wrong. It's really wrong. And um, unless you fucking do something with your food and your nutrition and your fucking habits and your relationship with food and the relationship with yourself, you're going to stay in the same fucking place that you've been in for however long it is that you've been there or you keep going back there because you can't get out of it because you have this idea that all you have to do is just get to the gym 17 days a week and you win. And yes, I said 17 days. Okay. That's all you think that you got to do. That's it. And that's so wrong. The amount of calories and time spent in the gym, which also, by the way, doesn't need to be 16 hours a week, okay? The amount of time and calories that you're getting in a gym have like very minimal things to do to like the 23 hours outside of that, uh, outside of that space. Like you are putting all of your eggs in that basket and like, yes, I got my workout on. I mean, y'all hear, heard me talk about literally I used to go train and then I would eat a whole box of fucking Velveeta mac and cheese. Hello. Wonder why nothing changed, bitch. That would be why here I'm thinking I can just out train my bad diet. I don't need to not eat a whole box of Velveeta. Excuse. Don't talk to me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Get out of here. Like, you're just never like so many times post after post after post after post after post. It's like legitimately they just go nuts. So about, well, I'm doing these things. I'm training this. I'm having this. I'm training this. I'm doing this. I'm this, this in the gym and this in the gym and this in the gym. Great. What, what about us? How, how'd you sleep? Oh, oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. oh, um, did you poop today? Oh, no, you didn't poop today either. So you didn't sleep, you didn't poop. Okay. What's your stress like? Oh, you about to burn the bitch down? Oh, okay. So you didn't sleep, you didn't poop, and you're fucking stressed as hell. Okay. Uh, you might want to work on those first. Okay. Like, it's just, we think that all these, that the, the gym is going to fix everything. Like, it's going to fix the problem. And it's not. It's just an add-on. And in fact, I always say this. Your food will determine the size of your body. And training, or lack of, will determine the shape. So if you are a person that has ever heard the term skinny fat, where it's a person that isn't necessarily overweight, but their skin just kind of hangs on their body, there's no tone, there's no muscle, 
that is skinny fat. That is a person who is skinny fat, meaning just because they're skinny doesn't mean they're healthy. That was last week's episode or some shit, I think. I think it was last week. Yeah, Friday. Wednesday, Friday. Don't really know at this point. Y'all, that's how, that is how my week has been. Okay. Um, partially why I wasn't going to put this out, but here we are. And I'm so fucking glad I did this. Okay. So you have to shift your diet. And every time everybody's like, well, I need to get to the gym. I have to go to the gym first. Like even sometimes the clients that I sign on, they're like so worried about what their training is. No, 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 no. Chill with the training. Like, hang on. If we don't get to training for like three to four weeks, you, you'll you be good. I promise you, you're, you're going to be good because we really have a lot of other shit first that we have to fucking deal with. Like your relationship with your food, that sucks. So let's start there about why you feel bad about eating cake. Like, let's have a conversation about there. Where did that start? Where did that start to happen? Like, where in, where in life did somebody make you feel like trash or yourself? Like, where, where was this coming from? And so we literally go into this space, like, thinking like we just go to the gym and our body's going to change. And it's not. That doesn't mean that it doesn't help. That doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong or what you're doing. But that's the other thing, right? People think because they're, nothing's changing, they're doing something wrong. Well, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong, but you have to look at the other seven components of weight loss, which 96% of you don't do that. Not only do 96% of you don't do that, 90 9.2% of the shit out there that's supposed to help you lose weight doesn't do that either. Go back, listen to my Optavia post or post, uh, podcast. It'll tell you all the things that they don't fucking pay attention to. Negligent as fuck, right? So you automatically assume that you're doing something wrong because it, nothing's working. It's not changing. You're not losing weight, but you're only focused on this one element. You're not, you're like zoomed in, like, you're like zoomed in on the house and you need to like zoom out into the, like the whole country. Like that's how you need to be looking from this huge scope from within. And you're just zoomed in like, what the fuck? Nothing's changing. Nothing's working. What the hell? I go to the gym six days a week for three hours a day. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's probably why nothing's changing. <laughs> so these are the three biggest myths of going to the gym, gym training things, whatever that I wanted to talk about. And I'm definitely going to be talking about a lot of training things moving forward. Um, I, I don't know how many times a month I'll be doing a muscle Monday. Um, that'll just be dependent upon how life fits. Like I said, like I was waiting till it was perfect. And it's like, if I fucking like literally on my board for my planning, it's literally had plan muscle Monday for like six to seven weeks and I have never done anything with it. And it's like, you just got to do this at this point. So, um, so if there's something specific that you would like to hear, please, 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 there's a link in the show notes for you to anonymously, anonymously, you don't have to leave an email. You don't have to leave nothing. You can anonymous, anonymously ask questions for a Q and a on anything that you want to know about training or things that you want me to talk about here in training. And I'll say this, part of the reason that I'm doing Monday Muscle is I am so passionate about this, so incredibly passionate. It's also why I have launched the Consistency Compound because in there, like this last weekend, I went live, we did a, a workout together. I do form videos um, for there. And I'm actually going to have you guys, if you want to, um, start doing form ed. So you can upload a photo, like we'll, we'll say like once a month under a form thing. And I can go in and I can tell you like, Hey, are you doing this right? Or I would switch this or look at your feet placement here, or this is how a hip hinge works. Or this is what we got to do here. Watch the back, stick your chest out, keep it upright, do the th breathe, like all these things that I would do that you would have in person. I want to start bringing that. And so these are kind of like coexisting together, like Monday Muscle and the Consistency Compound is kind of like this little blend of like harmony. So I'm a music teacher, y'all, so bear with me there. But like, it's this little blend of, of my little baby that I'm, I'm loving and I'm that piece of in-person that I'm missing and that piece of education and you know, when I'm sitting here and I'm telling you guys, I literally want to be shaking you guys out and be like, come with me, come with me. Let me show you and change your life. That is where this is coming from. As you can tell, I'm very excited about it. 
So if you guys have questions, I'm going to be leaving the anonymous link. You guys can go in. You can ask questions, uh, anything specific around training, the gym, uh, anything that you want to know about that you don't know or like you've heard and you want to know, is this thing true? Um, I will look at multiple sides of things. Uh, I will go research shit for you to see what is actually true. Um, and I always talk about a guy named Lane Norton. He is a, I don't know, he's got like 65 things after his name, but he is an incredible resource for training and nutrition, all sorts of stuff. If you guys don't follow him, highly recommend you can go find him on Facebook. Um, so otherwise, okay, you guys, happy Monday. I'm so excited. And I will see you guys on so, well, this will be Wednesday. Wednesday. This is so cool. I love this. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. And always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again.